Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Yeah. Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Well, fishing will take care of that. Told ya. Oh, hey, Arthur. Hey, Sean. Rob a homestead. Uh, should I do it? No. Man, what the hell? Yeah, so tell me, is your people uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fellow he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Damn sons of bitches, think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Right, follow me. Easy. Yeah. How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Duchess always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause, as from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me, he said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half, other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box boy is tent for then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> The fact you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way, don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid, we got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off, Mac? Nope, didn't see him. We lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. 
Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head, but you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. How far is it now? Not too much for them. Better be worth it. Hey, you need this, Arthur. All right, that'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. Up here, Morgan. Whoa. Let me prepare first, cause we never know, right? Should I take the rifle? I'm taking the rifle. I'm sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. You know, I've been here before. It's not a problem. No, just didn't realize you meant this place. I have? One of them outside. This is good. It is. Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Oh, that's right. I have been here. Man, the small details, you know. How do they see me here? Tell me where that money's stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. We'll keep an eye on sunshine here. Hey, it's over there. I know, I was looting. All right, this is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need to lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> There's gotta be other places out there like this. What the devil are you looking at? You want like the answer. I'm sorry? No, 
I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined! How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Yep. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. Why? My animals. They escaped. And now I'm... I'm buggered. What, what, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu Heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend, help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod, distinctive creature that he is, I'll make it worth your while. All right, madam. It's bloody Margaret, not madam. I don't care. Hello? Anybody? There we go. Hey, don't dead open in sight. Anyone? Nope? Okay. Stay out, plague. Poor people. to the federal building. It's on Denis. Federal ain't got no authority here. We'll be taking them good. No, you ain't. Jesus Christ. Well, I weren't the target. Thank you for your help. Easy. You're okay. Real shame what they're doing to folk. I'm sick of this shit. Yeah, how dare they? You can go now. Isn't that the rock on one of my maps? I remember because it looked like a face to me, somehow. Easy, whoa. Let's see. Not this one? Jack Hog Gang, let's see. Nope, never seen this place. This is the one. So beyond a bit and inside a tree. Nothing for you to see here, sir. This must be the tree. Search. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
so there are a bunch of trees around it with a path or a river that resembles a snake and some small rocks perhaps let's keep an eye out for it let me deliver the food to Pearson and then I'll be on my way to explore a bit I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. The cans are levitating, don't mind that. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt carry a knife or use a gun but i tell you you keep me here i'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner your damn mouth you crazy goddamn fishwife <laughs> enough both here <laughs> well come with me then you want to head out there run with the man so be it but we do more than just hunting we're hunted and them things hunting us well they got guns of their own I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. You go cool down then yet? I guess. Now I ain't no skull yet. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat and half wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. Oh, where's that letter? Are oh, you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. Good point. <laughs> 